Greetings, friend. I will show you how Mark Goodlift discovers a Sudoku secret involving the blue cells that will blow your mind. I'll show you what it is, plus give you pause the video moments so you can try to solve the trickier steps of the puzzle along with Mark. Click below if you want to give this puzzle a go, and with that, it's solving time. So what Mark starts with is puts a couple of twos there in block three. This is called Snyder Notation. Anytime in a three by three block, you have the possibility of only two uh, candidates in that block market. In case you solve one cell, you can solve the other one right away. This gives him information as he's getting the solve started. He sees some threes in block three, some nines in block two. And then he notices that the eights are in the same place in block three. Whenever you see this situation where the Snyder marks overlap each other, this is called a hidden pair. It means the two and the eight are limited to the same two cells in block three and in row two. And so you can just mark them as a two and an eight. And you can eliminate all other possibilities for those two cells. Welcome to Smart Hobbies. If you're new, please subscribe and tap the bell for notifications if you want to turn your passing interest in Sudoku into a fun and enjoyable hobby. There's some more Snyder marks after this. Mark does threes in block seven, then uh, nines in block eight, and then he actually solves a cell. He notices you got a five here. You have these two fives, only one place for a five in block seven. Then he does some more marks with the uh, nines in block seven. Noticing, okay, you know, this could possibly be a nine. That could possibly be a nine. Let's see where we go with that. Uh, some twos in block seven, then fives in block one, and ones in block two. Again, just gathering information. He's noticing this is kind of a hard puzzle. Uh, he also notices you have this five here and you have this five here so it puts fives in two spots in block five but what's special about this snyder mark is that it's also a pointing pair since the fives have to be in block five in the same row row five a five cannot be anywhere else along row five outside of the block so you can no longer have a five here or here you couldn't have a five here because of this five but it, what it does is it restricts the fives of these two cells in block six and then he starts looking at block three. And I would do that too. This is the only natural place that has restriction because of that hidden pair. And so he finishes what's in the block. And this is getting kind of cool here. Hopefully you'll notice this. You got this three, four, five naked triple. Notice that the first two blue cells that I've got your attention to are by value cells. I call them BVCs. Then Mark, he does start looking for BVCs. He switches his thinking. He's like, I got no more Snyder that I, that's going to be of any value to me. So he can either look for single candidate strategies or he can start looking for buy value cell restrictions. So he decides to do buy value cell restrictions. So then he comes down column nine and notices a two, three in that blue cell. And he didn't mark the cell blue. I'm marking it to help you understand how this strategy is developing and this cool secret is going to blow your mind. Then he notices this eight, nine here in row nine, column five. The one nine, row nine, column two, notice they're all BVCs. A five, six in row one, column five, and then the one, two in the corner there. Uh, then he sees a six, seven over here in row six, column two. Doesn't really help with the solve right now. It's not part of the blue cell. But he does find the six, seven in block five. And then he sees a one, four up here in row one. He gets a little off track because he thinks that has something to do with restrictions up here in row one. Uh, it doesn't really help. He does add this one, three, four in column nine, and then a one, two, eight in row nine, column eight, which actually is going to help us with some eliminations later. He does get back on track after all that and puts the seven, eight there. So all the information you need to see this amazing Sudoku street secret is now visible. All blue cells are filled in and you notice they're all by value cells. If you see the significance of these blue cells and Mark didn't right away, share this with someone else who likes Sudoku. See if they can figure it out and where you need to go next because this is the intended solve path. I thought Tyler Chen did an amazing puzzle. I've never featured him on my channel. I would love to find more puzzles by him. Mark then this fills in this two seven here in block eight. And then he sees it, which brings us up to our first pause the video moment. Pause the video and see if you can figure out the amazing chain that Mark finds, which is the key to this puzzle. And I'll give you a hint. I'll color this cell orange. 
Okay, congratulations. If you spot it, you are an expert at finding not just an XY chain, but something even more powerful. If you notice, this is a one, that's a two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, right? This is not a one that has to be a nine, and then that's an eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So this is a special kind of XY chain called a continuous loop because it comes back on itself. And this is so beautiful. You can learn more about continuous loops in this tutorial. But what it means is that you can start making some eliminations because basically things like the one either has to be here or here. You know, the, uh, the three, it's got to be either here or here. And you'll see that Mark figures this out. All right. So first he says, okay, the four's got to be there or there. You can eliminate the four from that spot in block three. And then he marks a four, seven BVC in row three, column six. He doesn't know the name of this whole loop. And so he's still looking for BVCs and eliminations he can make. He comes down column nine and says, okay, well, the three does have to be here or here. So he eliminates the three from that spot. Click on the pinned comment. If you want to receive monthly puzzle packs, exclusive content, and so much more featuring cool strategies like this. You become a super smarty, and I'll put your name on every video. All right. Then he comes down and says, okay, the one's got to be there or there, so I can eliminate the one from this spot. And then he sees a nice naked pair. You got a 2A here and a 2A there. And so we're going to get rid of the blue and the orange, and we're going to put the 2A pair that Mark put in the video. And this brings us up to our next pause the video moment. Pause the video and see if you can solve for two here in block five using the knowledge that this is a two eight naked pair. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you spotted the pointing pair in block six. For those of you who just want to enjoy the show, the two and the eight have to be in these two spots in column eight. So that means the two can't be here, here, or here. And then because of this two, a two can't be here, or here, it creates a pointing pair of twos in block six. And since they are pointing pair of twos, this cannot be a two. This two can't be in any of these spots. It only leaves one place for a two. All right. After that, he notices he can make some solves down here in block eight. So he marks the seven, eight, nine, and the two finishes block eight. Then he works his way up column four, notices a five, six, and that creates a five, six naked pair in block eight. Two, which means now, because you can have a five, six, nine here, since the five, six are a naked pair here, this can only be the nine right there. So he marks that, does a five, six right here, row five, column four, and this brings us up to our next pause the video moment. All right, Mark realizes he can make some more solves here. So pause the video and finish up row nine while I give you a few seconds. Congratulations, if you did it, you're taking advantage of that continuous loop those of you who just want to enjoy the show you can put a one right there because of the nine that he marked which allows us to put the two there and the eight right there in the green cell and if you found value in what i'm teaching consider buying me a coffee through the uh, link in the description below or just click on the super thanks in youtube i would really appreciate it he then finishes up that naked pair puts the two right there he does leave the color in, so i'll leave it in and then he starts working his way down column nine going okay you know, this has to be a three because I just marked the two, which means that's a four and that's a one. And he works up here in block three saying, okay, I got this two, I got this four. I can mark the five, eight, and the three there. Then he takes this five and he solves for the six right there, which allows him to solve for the seven there and the six there, uh, the five, six, and the five there in columns four and five. And then he has enough to finish the rest of block five because of this nine. It's all for the nine there and the eight. Then he marks a one, four, six, naked triple across row four. Again, the puzzle's not completely solved. There's still a lot of empty cells we got to work on here. Um, he does some cross hatching and sees, okay, with these ones, he can solve for one in block nine. And then he notices because of these two sixes, he can solve for a six in block one. And then because uh, of that five, you can solve for the five there in block one. And actually, that's been there since the continuous loop because the five had to be in one of these two spots. He could have removed the five right there. Puts a one, four. The only thing left up there, row one, column one. 
Uh, then he comes back and finishes row three with a seven. This is just a one four naked pair. He was hoping he could solve that all the way, but he couldn't. He comes down and he sees that Snyder mark. Okay, that's got to be the two. And then he makes a naked pair. He says, okay, that's a four six here. I notice another four six across row seven. And so it's, this, both of those could only be a four and a six. This is a two or a three, and the two can only be in one spot. So the three's got to be in the other. So he solves the three and the two, removes that Snyder mark. And now he's looking for a, a six, seven up here. He actually misses that there's a seven right there, but he marks a six, seven going, oh, okay, I can solve for a five to finish row six. And then he notices he can do a four, seven here in block six. And since the four, seven have to be in those spots, he can solve for that six right away, removing the six from row four. Uh, after that, he does then see, oh, I can just solve that six and seven right away. And he moves up and says, okay, I got a one and a seven here. This means this has to be a four because it can only be a one, four, seven in block one. So that's your four, that's your one. Then he finishes the one and four in block three. And then he does the seven and the one and the four to complete rows one and two. After that, comes down into block four and sees that he has the three right here. So he can solve for the three and the eight to finish block four. Uh, moves down, gets the eight as the full house in column one. And then he says, okay, I got this four here so I can solve for the six there. I can solve for the nine to finish column two and I can finish block seven. All right, working his way over. Is what do I have over here in block nine? Okay, I can do the six and the seven. I can come up, do the four and the seven, and he finishes the last cell as a four. Watch this next video to see how Cracking the Cryptic tackled another tricky Sudoku. Thank you so much for watching.